How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be talking about the first FDA approved drug that just has been announced of June of 2022 to treat autoimmune alopecia. So you might be wondering why I chose this specific topic to cover this week, and I think it's because I think it's very important to talk about this because if, unless you've been living under a rock for the last couple of months, that famous Will Smith and Chris Rock incident that happened at the Oscars where Will Smith um, slapped Chris Rock was because of the fact that his wife suffers from autoimmune alopecia, also known as alopecia arata or areata, I can't pronounce, but his wife suffers from that condition. The comedian made a joke about his wife and he decided to take justice into his own hands. So that's why I wanted to talk about it because it has been a hot topic in the last couple of months. It's spurred a debate on people having visible illnesses, people having chronic illnesses, and people having autoimmune diseases. So uh, a little bit of a background of allo autoimmune alopecia, and then I'll be talking about the results of this study that was released and why the FDA decided to approve it for its treatment. So what is autoimmune alopecia? Autoimmune alopecia is a autoimmune disease where your own body cells attacks itself, but with autoimmune alopecia, your immune cells starts attacking your hair follicles. And that just doesn't include your the head on your head, but it can also attack any hair that you have in your body. So for me, it can attack my eyebrows, it can attack my eyelashes, it can attack my beard, also, it can attack my body hair and make me completely bald. So this is often a very, very distressing illness to have, especially if you're the type of person who takes a lot of pride in your hair, and most humans do. I've never heard of a human not liking not having hair. <laughs> so uh, I think it's uh, a, a condition that a lot of people suffer from approximately 700,000 people in the US alone suffer from autoimmune alopecia and about 40% of the people who have autoimmune alopecia have the severe form where they lose almost all their hair. So to have a drug finally to help treat it uh, can make the quality of life of the people that suffer from it that much better. So some things to know about this drug, this drug is called Illumiant, which is the brand name, the generic generic name is baricitinib. If a drug has the last ending of the word nib, it usually means that it is a biologic drug, meaning it creates antibodies to fight whatever it is that is causing harm to the body. Now, good thing is that this drug has been around for a while. It was originally created a couple of years ago to treat rheumatoid arthritis, which is another autoimmune disease that attacks the bones. So it's an autoimmune disease where your own cells attack your joints. But uh, we've seen in past research and past drugs that have been created for one specific autoimmune disease, we've seen over and over again the way that autoimmune diseases work, if a drug is made for one, sometimes it can be really effective for another autoimmune disease. So um, uh, luckily, because this drug has been around for a while, we know pretty much the way it works and the side effect profile of the drug. And just overall, it made the whole clinical trial process a lot more streamlined. So they did a phase three clinical trial study that consisted of approximately 1,200 um, patients with severe autoimmune alopecia and these patients were grouped into a placebo group that got nothing but they didn't know that they got nothing a group that got a low dose of the drug and the group that got a high dose of the drug and they followed these patients for 36 weeks which is a couple months less than a year and saw that the patients in the high dose group had a really good turnaround on the results of their autoimmune alopecia. So after 36 weeks, among the people in the high dose group, 40% of them had almost complete, complete remission of their autoimmune alopecia and had regained their hair, Al or almost completely regained their hair. So that was amazing. And uh, they followed this group uh, for up to a year and um, about 50% of the patients in, among the high dose group had some 
hair growth back. Although uh, the, this, these results are very promising, it goes on to show that this drug may not be perfect for everyone with autoimmune alopecia, but it is a very promising and hopeful drug for those where the drug works for them. So uh, that is to say that this drug, although it's not a miracle cure for autoimmune alopecia, at the end of the day, a lot of patients can benefit from this drug. And I know a lot of you are going to be thinking about the side effects of Illumiant, also known as baricitinib, and side effect profile is very similar to those of other biologic drugs used to treat autoimmune diseases, which means it, they do have quite a bit of side effects, but it is something that every patient who does take a biologic drug is already aware of. And those side effects include because it's an immunosuppressant, uh, a higher risk of getting infections, colds, UTIs, things like that. And there is a slightly increased chance of having something like a blood clot, or there is a slightly increased chance of having some sort of cancer. But I will say having an autoimmune disease already means that there is an increased risk of having a heart attack and increased risk of getting cancer. So at the end of the day, when you decide to take a biologic drug for any form of autoimmune disease, it's a conversation between the patient and their doctor and deciding what is best for the patient and the kinds of risks and compromises you're willing to take for your lifestyle and your desires out of quality of life. Anyways, that's it for this video. I think it's amazing that a drug has been finally approved by the FDA to treat autoimmune alopecia. I personally don't know anyone in my personal life that suffers from this, but I have read so many, so many stories on social media and online about patients suffering from this and how much it like affects their body image and their self-worth and self-confidence. So I'm glad there is something there that patients can try to see if it works. And if it does work, hooray. And if it doesn't work, we need to do more work on finding a better drug uh, to find a cure for autoimmune alopecia, or also, uh, also known as alopecia areata. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something, and I hope you'll share this information with someone that may benefit from this information. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and shenanigans that I get into, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This has been.